Yeah, the quickest way I can put this is that the next 23rd of August, uh, Raiders of Broken Planet will reborn into a new free-to-play beginning that we're gonna call Space Lords. Yeah, uh, well, actually, many, many things are going to be different. One of the reasons why we're rebranding is because uh, the this is Space Lords is not just an update. It's an entire new game built on the back of Rays of the Rock and Planet. And we think that the best way to communicate, hey, guys, this is something new, is rebranding it under a new name. Then there's more reasons about why we're changing uh, the brand. We can deal with that a bit later if you want. But uh, what people is going to find... Uh, is a totally new game with a new focus, with a new uh, purpose, and uh, with no more paywalls in it. Uh, only optional in-game monetization uh, options. Okay. Um, but the, the campaign we're going to be all for free is going to be one entire new campaign for uh, people to enjoy, which is easily 25-30% of new content, new characters, new weapons, new stories, and a new ending. Uh, monetization relies on progression, okay. and also we have uh, cosmetic items as well. Of course, I mean you, you don't need to spend a cent to progress. Uh, this is this is common thing in, in free-to-play games. Um, but if you want to speed up the process, then you might want to uh, uh, to use this option. And also for cosmetic items, uh, you have to use this option if you want, but they don't affect at all the gameplay. No loot boxes in Raiders uh, of the Broken Planet and no loot boxes in Space Lords from next 23rd of August. Mm, not because uh, the, the former Raiders of the Broken Planet never had loot boxes. Mm -hmm. We never had the slightest intention to implement loot boxes in the game. Put simply, we don't like them. <laughs> yeah, we have full crossplay uh, between Steam, PlayStation 4, uh, Steam, uh, uh, Xbox One, Windows 10. Yeah, of course we did. Uh, but you know the answer. Uh, they strongly suggested to not do it. Uh, well, you said that. You're not going to say it. Okay. I'm not going to say it. That is a very complex question to answer. Uh, my wish is uh, yes, this will eventually happen. Uh, but no idea about when. Uh, but I think it makes sense for players. Uh, it's a complex thing because we're talking about different communities. We're talking about different rules. We're talking about different platforms, and um, and I can understand. I can understand the platform holder's position, uh, and but at the same time, as a developer that now is uh, working on on a multi-platform cross-play game like Space Lords, that would be great for our players. And I think that that what is good for players must be good for everyone. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, for us, uh, well, I, I have to say first, first of all, that crossplay is a complex thing in itself, mm -hmm. right? But once you accept that, then you're right. For us, uh, will be the easiest will be full crossplay between all platforms. That will be the easiest for us. But it's not possible yet. That's another very, very good question. Uh, yeah, we, we think Space Lords would especially fit into the Switch catalog. I think the Switch people will go crazy with a game like that. Um, but you know what? We are independent, small developer. Uh, Space Lords is self-financed. Uh, and when we asked ourselves uh, like a year ago uh, if we would add Switch to the platform roster of Space Lords, we, uh, we thought, oh, that would be a great idea. But... Uh, Maybe it's too much for us. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine, imagine Space Lords development, four campaigns, a story uh, line uh, truffled with cutscenes and events and big bosses and and etc. Uh, then uh, different platforms to uh, to be working with. Uh, we simply couldn't put a new platform 
on top of the others. So, uh, yes, would be very interesting this game on Switch platform, but uh, we simply put, uh, we didn't have the capacity to, to, to include it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, I find it difficult because we want to be hands on our projects and then uh, Raiders, uh, sorry, sorry, Space Lords uh, uh, is a, an extremely complex piece of software um, and uh, that would be a really challenging for any other studio to adapt. Uh, yes, uh, for, for, for those familiar with, with the game, uh, they know that this game is about one simple, one simple thing is the Aleph. Uh, the Aleph is a similar thing than the spice in the Dune universe. It's an almighty substance that is only on one planet in the whole universe. The Aleph is kind of that, and is only present on the broken planet. So that's why uh, there's a war going on. Uh, the war is uh, because there's a few factions trying to dominate the planet and to take over uh, the Aleph uh, for themselves. Whoever, whoever controls the broken planet will become the ultimate space lord. And this is the reason why we, we thought about this new brand. Uh, because the old one, the Raise the Broken Planet, maybe fell a little bit short to uh, cover all the all the actors in the 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 action. The Raiders are just part of the part of the actors, but then we have the antagonists. And then we have the, the human faction. We have four different factions, the Fifth Council, the Umbra War Dogs, the Haters Division, and more characters we don't want to disclose because they belong to the immediate future of Space Lords. All of them are now under the umbrella of the brand. All of them want to become Space Lords. All of them want to take over the Broken Planet and dominate and control the Aleph. And this is why we're, we're this is why we chose Space Lords because uh, it sounds cooler than Race of Broken Planet in the first place. And second, uh, it uh, it represents a lot better what's going on in the game. Oof. It's difficult to say. Uh, it's an online game. Uh, considering you can play in two directions, you can play as a raider and you can play as an antagonist. Each mission. I'd say, let me think, easily something between 35, 45 hours. Yeah, and, and, and not considering the real nature of the game, which is online, which is you can play with uh, three more people, you can play, you can also train solo if you like, uh, you can, you're gonna have a, a, a nice cutscene, uh, uh, menu to choose all the castings you want to follow the story. There's a, there's a lot, lot of content. Well, uh, I mean, uh, Space Lords is is not is not just the game. It's a universe. It's a world filled with interesting characters, nice stories, backstories, side stories. Uh, is a quite crazy kind of Guardians of the Galaxy, Serenity universe. You know. That doesn't take too seriously, but at the same time explains a, a solid story. So yes, there's plenty of room to develop not just uh, uh, side stories, but also other other game mechanics. I mean, it's it's, it's a whole universe uh, that we expect to be working in for many many years. Well, first of all, uh, we we need to tell them a big thank you for being with us. I mean, uh, we have a small but super loyal community, uh, those who enjoy the game, even those who hate the game but keep playing it, which are a lot, uh, they they are giving us reasons to carry on and to move forward. And uh, they are also giving us tons of data and, uh, and opinions to know uh, what the game is about. Because we have an idea here internally, but then the game is something different when, when it goes outside. So, first of all, a big, big thank you to all of them. In second place, we're not going to forget about them. And we're going to, uh, when the game, when Space Lords goes free to play next 23rd uh, August, 
uh, they will find uh, unique and exclusive game content for all of them. Absolutely yes, yes. I mean that's all I can say. Uh, as I said, uh, we uh, our our dream is Space Lords is going to be played by millions uh, for many years to come, independently on what new platforms are coming. Of course, uh, we always work with our own technology, and this allows us a great flexibility. Let's put it this way. Uh, and we uh, also build our games thinking, uh, having an eye on the next, on what's next. So for us, shouldn't be a major problem. Well, uh, I think that uh, we know that uh, this uh, update is about many, many things. Maybe uh, a bit, uh, a bit difficult to digest. I know you, we have the rebranding, we have the free-to-play, we have the new campaign. It all comes to one single thing. Uh, next 23rd August, give gave Lord give Space Lords a try. It's for free, uh, and uh, we promise you'll fully enjoy uh, the game. And for the veterans, uh, we also promise they will freak out at the massive difference uh, they will find between the old Raiders of the Broken Planet and the new Space Lords. 